Hello, this is MiloCal44, and I am on Minecraft. This was the video I said the command box stopped working. Got him to work again. I, I, I just rewrote the command, and then it worked suddenly, so. But something this awesome is it just makes sense if it breaks since it's so cool. No, it's not really that cool. So lots of people have made better things than me. But still, it's awesome. So today I've made meteors in Minecraft. It's not really what you would think. I have this bow here, and I'm just gonna shoot this bow. And I got all the boop. It really messes it up if I do it near a pool of water. So I'm just gonna go over here. Now, let's shoot this bow. Goes through the ground with TNT, and you probably could barely hear me since that was really loud. I'll turn my sounds down. Um, okay. So basically, it goes through the ground with TNT. I'll show it one more time since it's so freaking awesome. So it just digs into the ground and places lava at the bottom like a meteor does, of course. And I guess that's all. I'm going to shoot this cow. It really messes it up if you hear now, but I do. But normally the TNT blast kills the mob before you can. And of course it does it again. And um, if you uh, have made like anything with the new snapshots yet, you'd probably know exactly how this works. But just in case, I'm going to show you. I'm going to kill myself. And then, oh my gosh, I almost fired it. At. Okay, these command blocks are useless. Uh, this is just a bunch. This is my test world, so I have a lot of stuff I mess around with. So it only uses three command blocks. One is execute, which is a new command in the snapshots. If you can see up there, it's 14W19A. Then execute, which is which basically performs a command from um, whatever you're executing's point of view. So it executes from any arrow's point of view. Um, two blocks above that arrow, and that's important because originally. Um, I had it at the same height as the arrow, and the TNT blast fired the arrow upwards, so the TN so the arrow just went up. So that tilde 2 is important right there, and it summons prime TNT. So it'll summon prime TNT two blocks above the arrow continuously. And then, if it does that, after a certain amount of time, it will, um, execute the arrows again. This is time exactly where the arrow was. Then fill around the arrow with lava. So that creates the lava at the bottom. And then it just kills the arrow after it does that. And the order right there matters because if you did kill then lava, then the lava wouldn't work. So, fire! So, where'd that go? What? Oh, and it went over here. For some reason, it... Oh, where's the lava? What? Okay, let's try this again. Okay. I think the command blocks are broken again. I'm gonna go check. Okay, I'm back. I just rewrote the command and it worked. So now I will show it in action. Actually, I'm gonna turn the sounds down even more. And then, oh, that fired. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna explain the commands as they're happening now. I know I'm sort of over explaining this, but whatever. Okay, so then. Right now, it's summoning the prime TNT two blocks above the arrow, and then trying to catch up to the arrow. So that blasts the arrow downward when it does that. 
Um, so then, when it does that successfully, after a certain amount of delay, ah, I'm trying to get it so there's not water there. Okay, so two blocks above the arrow, it's summoning Prime TNT, which explodes. Okay, bad example here. Okay, so it's summoning um, Prime TNT, which explodes two blocks above the arrow, and then that shoots the arrow downwards when it does that. So when it does that, it makes the arrow go further down, so then the Prime TNT keeps breaking the blocks around it. So then it eventually gets down here after that certain amount of delay, and then it sets uh, fills the area with lava. And whoa! And I found this giant cave system with grass in it, and probably a lot of other attempts at this. Okay, and I'm gonna kill myself so I go back here, and I think that's about it. So this is Malakau forty four. Stopping the recording. So many horses, or baby donkeys, whatever you want to call them.